Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I am going to be packing my travel makeup bag for a trip that we are leaving for tomorrow. Wow, well, tomorrow already. Um, so during this trip, we're going to be going to a wedding. So I do need some like very neutral kind of glam makeup to go with me. Um, and in, in the past, when I've done travel makeup, bag kind of videos. I've already had the makeup packed and then I've just kind of pulled it out and showed you. I thought we'd do something a little bit different and then show you like actually how I shop my stash and how I actually pack my bag. Um, I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be kind of chill, very nice and low-key while I'm actually packing because I am in the middle of packing the rest of the stuff that we have to bring with us. So yeah. So let's jump in first. Uh, my bag. I've had this bag forever and I love it so much. It's like perfect for makeup and for the kind of traveling that I do. This is a Victoria's Secret bag and I got it years and years ago like on super clearance because I think they discontinued it. But it's this really cute black and white bag and it has handles and it zippers open and you've got these two main compartments. This side is a built-in compartment to the actual bag and then this side actually pulls out. So depending on how long the trip is and how much makeup I'm taking, this could either be all makeup or I could do makeup down here and skincare up here. But since it's going to be like at least four days and there's two of us going, we're gonna have a separate toiletries bag. So this is just all gonna be makeup. And I forgot to show, but back here, there's another zipper compartment. And back here, I just keep, I have a little mini color switch. So that stays back there, along with any other possible tools I might bring. So the way that I would normally pack in order to like remember to bring everything because there have been many many times i've gone on a trip and then i realized i forgot like an essential makeup item like a loose powder or like a mascara and it's because i didn't pack the right way so the way that i like to pack is to pack as if i was putting the makeup on right now what is everything i need for a full face so at the very like bare minimum i have what i need to do a full face right so i'll literally sit here and think okay primer or blah and like actually go through the full process so let me go ahead and get you guys set up to look at the bag as we pack it. All right, so before I set you up just to look at me packing, I thought we could go quickly and pick out at least the main makeup that I'm going to be using um, so that it's like part shop my stash and then part I'll actually show you how I pack this. So this is my everyday makeup basket for September that just got posted. If you miss it, I'll throw it up in the cards. And there are just a couple of things I do want to bring in and I am actually going to be packing. I'm not doing my makeup today or tomorrow morning because we do have kind of a long car ride tomorrow. So I'm not going to be wearing any makeup. So I'm actually going to be pulling everything that I would need for a full face. So from here, I'm thinking I want to bring Dermacol. Definitely want to bring that. I also want to bring the MAC Paint Pot. Let's bring the Rimmel Stay Matte. I was thinking about bringing the MAC Powder Foundation, but I know I want a liquid foundation or a cream foundation. So uh, um, should I bring it? No, I'm going to bring the other foundation I was thinking of. I'm also going to bring my loose powder. My little poof poof. And I think that's it for this drawer. All right, anything down here. I don't think I'm gonna bring my pen that palette. I'm gonna leave that here. I need my brow thing. Um, and those eyeshadow palettes. I've got a particular palette in mind that I wanna bring. Let's see, down here. Honestly, also nothing particularly there. Um, down here, I do wanna bring the lipstick from my Petty Project pan. And I'm debating whether to bring this. I do have another face palette in mind. I'll put it out for now, but I think I'm going to bring a different face palette. Okay, for primer, I want to bring something that works well, but is fairly, uh, what do you want to say, travel friendly. So I'm going to bring this Tatcha Silk Canvas Putty Primer. And then I need to bring my Fix Plus sprays. Now these might not fit into the actual bag that I have, so this might go in just my regular toiletries bag. I already have my color switch and I have some q-tips already packed so we don't need those all right so skipping down to my face palette drawer I really want to bring this Tarte clay play I love traveling with that and so you know that does not have a blush in it so should I bring a blushy so that face palette doesn't have a blush in it, so I'm going to bring in this Cover FX Duo because I think this would look very pretty. It is more naturally-ish toned down of a shade, um, and this seems to be nice and travel friendly. So I'm going to bring this. And then I think that's it for everything that's not a eyeshadow palette. 
contour. Yeah, so let me go ahead and set you guys up and we'll start packing. All right, so we're here. I picked up a few more things from my collection. We're actually gonna start packing. So in general, I try to put more like liquidy or cream products in this removable pouch and then have like the powder products in here. So we'll see how good that actually pans out as we start packing. So here's where I bring in my uh, technique of packing as I would if I were doing a full face of makeup, just to make sure I have everything. So looking around, I am going to start with my primer. So got my primer. This is a cream product, a putty product. So I'm going to put it on this side. So we got our primer. Let's go foundation. For foundation, I picked out these two. Um, this is my favorite for traveling. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation, and I have the shade F1. And then, because I know it might be hot still, this is like my bulletproof hot foundation. I might mix it with or I might just wear this depending on the weather the day of the wedding. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I have the shade 1N2. This is slightly too dark for me. Um, I probably would have been better with just a flat one um, but I've had this for a bit and I'm trying to finish it up. All right we have foundation. Next we have concealer. So for concealer I brought in the Dermacalm and the Pat McGrath Sublime Fetish one. And again putting it over here with creams and liquids so we have concealer next would be powder for me so that would be my loose powder so that's going to go on this side after we do powder we've got regular face powder after that we go in with face products so i would do my face palette my blush and see i don't think I need to bring the Charlotte Tilbury because I have this. Let's open up the Charlotte Tilbury compare it to. Yeah, I mean the only thing, oh well I do need a highlight. I didn't bring out, okay, so I will bring the Charlotte Tilbury so I could use that highlight. We've got this for bronzer, contour, and then we have blush. So, personally, I would put, but let's do the Tarte first and then the Charlotte Tilbury right there. Let's do the cover effects over here and then let's see if there's enough room for the powder on top. That makes it a little bulky. Let's put the powder over here then. There. So powder right there, face powder right there. Okay, so after that, I would then use setting sprays, but these are just going to go in with my toiletries because there's not really going to be enough room in here for them. So I'll put those to the side. After I set my, oh, before I actually, I would do my brows. So let's go ahead and put in my brow product. All right, so we've got brows, we've got brow gel, important. We've set our face with setting spray. Next, I would do eyeshadow. So I would do eye primer. So we'll move into our MAC Paint Pot, eye primer, and then eyeshadow. So the two eyeshadow palettes that I want to bring with me. I'm going for a very glam, neutral look for this wedding. I also have a yellow dress that I'm going to be wearing. So the Lorac Pro is my favorite traveling palette. This literally has everything that I might need. It's got a black shadow for my brows. It's got all of your nice neutrals, and they've got beautiful shimmers down here. Something I also want to bring that makes these shimmers pop even more is the NYX glitter glue. So I also want to bring that. We'll put that on this side, but the eyeshadow palette will go on the powder side if it fits. I gotta bring out that face palette or the face powder. We'll bring this in. And then I really like again a nice neutral glam palette, this Milani Bold Obsessions palette. This is beautiful. You've got like a nice neutral kind of brown shade. You've got a nice warm neutrals in the middle. And then you've got a nice smoky eye over here. And I brought this in just in case I wanted to do any other kind of pops of color. Um, but the main two things we're going to be doing this weekend is the wedding, which I'm probably going to use Lorac Pro. But then my best friend and I are going to get brunch together. And I might dress up a little bit for that because it's been, it's been years since I've gotten a brunch, right? <laughs> it's been so long. So I might dress up a little bit for that. Um, so I've got that. And that will go right over there. 
All right, when eyeshadow or while doing eyeshadow, um, I want to bring this chromium liquid shadow from Natasha Denona because if I end up doing something one of the other days that were there but I don't want to do a full face of makeup and I just want to do eyeshadow odds are I would do just like this kind of liquid shadow and then do like a quick five minute eye look with it so I love this it's great for traveling so we'll pop that in there and then the eyeliners that I'm going to be bringing I've got a white eyeliner and a yellow eyeliner from NYX I don't know if I'm going to use the yellow but since I'm wearing a yellow dress I thought it might be fun to do a pop of yellow in in the waterline so we'll see how that looks um and then I am just bringing a black liner this is a mini from Natasha Denona. And I'll pop those over here. Of course, I am bringing my mascara. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and my eyelash curler. And then finally, for lipsticks, I am bringing the Urban Decay Lipstick in Fuel. This is a warm nude that I think would be perfect. But I'm also bringing the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in Nudie Patootie. This is a pretty nude on its own. Um, I think these are going to look nice mixed together. So I think I'm going to be doing that. We'll put those on this side. And then that's it for the makeup. So it fits like that. Let's go ahead and zip this side. And there we have it. It closes. And zips just like that. Now that was all just the makeup. So we have the makeup packed away in here. I pack my tools separately. Um, I don't have to worry about packing in a small enough space for like an airplane or anything because we are driving. It's going to be like a two and a half hour drive, um, which is personally how I like to travel. That way I can pack as much as I want. Um, but for tools, I do pack them separately. I have this really old Morphe kind of brush box, but this is like perfect for travel. It's like square, it's big, it's sturdy, and it's awesome. The only thing is that it's black and this is all stained. Like I've cleaned the inside of this and it's just stained those colors. Unfortunately. Um, so for brushes and tools, I am going to bring two of the Shop Miss A teardrop sponges in black and I just washed these so they're all nice and clean. And actually, I washed all my brushes so they're all nice and clean for this. <laughs> Let's do face brushes first and I do these the same way I would with the makeup, just in the order you would apply it to your face. So I don't think I need to bring a brush for primer because... I brought a putty primer and I normally use my fingers for that. So we'll skip primer for foundation. I will bring, let's do this. No, I don't want to do this. Like, my Sigma has been like shedding, which is surprising because normally my Sigma brushes are really nice, but I'm going to do the shop miss a flat top Kabuki. And then I think we are good with foundation there. Next, a uh, powder. So I'm going to do these two Shop Miss A brushes for face powder. Powder, and then, ba, 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 ba. next I would do contour. So I got my NARS Eda brush, my dual fiber to blend out the contour, my bronzer brush I'll use this Wet n Wild brush. I'll put that in. Um, blush brush, I will use this. Oh, actually, I mixed it up. This is the blush brush. This is the powder brush from Shop Miss A. I'll bring both of those. Um, for blending everything out, I got this nice duo fiber. And then for highlighter, I will bring this ABH brush. So those are all of my face brushes. I didn't go into too much detail. I'm actually planning to do an in-depth video of my favorite everyday face brushes and eyeshadow brushes. So that will be coming. Um, Next, let's move on to eye brushes. And I'm just going to quickly go through and pick which ones I want to bring. And I'm going to, I thought about putting them in here and having the brushes separately. Which we could do that. I think I could do, yeah, let's do that. And these are all of the eye brushes that I'm going to be bringing. It is a lot, uh, but I like eyeshadow and I know I want to do like a nice looking look for the wedding and then possibly for brunch. Um, again, I didn't go too in depth here, but I am going to do a video where I identify each brush, talk about each one, show you how they apply. Um, but for now, this is what I'm going to be bringing and the lid should go on and snap. 
perfect. So there we have it. That is all the makeup that I'm packing for this trip. It's essentially a long weekend. It's going to be about four or five days. Uh, yeah, so I do pack a lot when it comes to makeup, but for me, I like it. I like makeup. This is what I like to do. And I like having everything in like the sturdy, travel-friendly packaging. So I hope you liked this video. Let me know down below what kind of makeup you travel with. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.